Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Nino Kuni. <clears throat> what is this? Episode five, I think. Four, six. I don't know, but I know that our mission is to reach the king. We have an audience. We just got our new clothes, and off we go. <laughs> By the way, if you've not watched the rest of these, I highly recommend that you. Moi. <clears throat> Which part did I put it in again? Is everything okay? What? Is that somebody else talking? Uh, well, my precious treasure, you see, I can't remember which pot I hid it in. Gee, that's tough. What sort of treasure is it? My grandmother's red earring. It's such a pretty color. You couldn't lend me a paw and help me look for it, could you? Uh, yeah? You accepted the following task. A safe hiding place. Check your journal for details. A young Grimmel... Grimmelkin? Grimmelkin. That's what they are. Uh, from Ding Ding Dell remembers putting her red earring in a pot but has forgotten which one. Ask the Grimmelkin what she wants you to do. Ask the Grimmelkin what she wants you to do. You will? Perfect. It's in one of those pots that you see around town. Inside one of the pots, huh? Leave it to me. You're a perfect gentleman. Aw. Uh, well, um, should we go see the king first? I think we should go see the king. Uh, and I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> oh, there's a pot over there. Uh, can we search that? No, we can't. How about that? Nope. I have a feeling it's going to have... Whoa, cutscene. It's going to have sparklies on it. And I would imagine that it's probably in that same area. Wait, can we go back here? No, we cannot. Okay. Alright, off to the palace. No time to delay. Please don't stop me. Please don't stop me. Please don't... Yeah! Aw. Palace guard. Apologies, but everyone in the palace is busy trying to find the king's red herring. Wait, what? Okay. Welcome to Ding Ding Dal. This is the road that leads to the royal palace. You are travelers, I take it? You must be in your clothes. Yes, we've come to see the king. Ah, you're after an audience with, the king, with king Tom, are you? Well, I'd be more than happy to let you through, but I'm afraid that's just not possible at the moment. Huh? But why? One of the king's hapless aides has allowed his... Maujesties, <laughs> Maujesties, beloved pet fish to escape into the into the palace moat. That red herring is the king's pride and joy, and a highly endangered species to boot. I doubt his Maujesty would be able to replace one if he were to lose it. That's what, wait, what that aid of his was thinking. I don't know. Anyway, to cut a long story short, everyone in the castle is busy looking for the king's red herring at the moment. I'd advise you to come back another day. Uh, all right. What are we going to do, Mr. Drippy? <clears throat> the pl <clears throat> the palace moat, eh? Hmm. If I'm not mistaken, that moat's connected to some sort of rivers that run through the town. You think it could? <clears throat> you think it could have swim all the way down, uh, all the way to town? I reckon it's possible. Yeah. Why don't we why don't we have a look into a few ponds and that just in case. Can't do any harm, can it? Uh, uh sure can't. Uh gee, I hope we find the red herring, Mr. Drippy. Me too, Ollie boy. <clears throat> Me too, Ollie boy. Man, I can't do his accent tonight, my voice. <clears throat> right then, let's go fishing. Okay. Uh and we Okay, hold on. What is that over there? Uh, okay, I can't. Oh, sorry, sorry, excuse me, excuse me. Hello, it's a big kitty. Hello. You know the pots we've got dotted all over the place and uh, all over the town? Well, you should probably have a look inside them every now and again. You never know when you might find something interesting or play in particular. Particular. All right, let's go check it out. What is this place? Uh, 
Oh, there's a pot. Ooh, I got a pie. Okay. Thank you for the subscribe, whoever you are. I appreciate it. Is there a slight... Okay, there we go. The screen was not stretched out all the way. What is this? Hello? Ah, <gasps> hello! Hmm? Question mark, question mark? Trippy. Eh, what's up with you, man? You look, uh, look a bit pale, do you? You do. Question mark, question mark. Huh? You're giving this to me? What? You received a page describing the spirit medium spell. What? Well, fancy that! A page from the wizard's companion, that is. <clears throat> what's this little squirt doing with it? Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Um, do you think you can speak? Nah, that's not it, man. If he, if I'm not much mistaken, yep, must be. Hmm? Did you figure something out, Mr. Drippy? That spell he just gave you. Give it a try, Ollie boy. You'll see soon. You'll soon see. Well, uh, all right. Um, let's see. I need to hit that. Uh, let's go to the wizard's companion. And we are going to look at spells, and we're looking for the medium spell, that one right there. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I should be able to zoom in. There we go. Communicate with the spirits of the departed. Oh no. Is that little boy a ghost? While there have been several notable cases of departed souls communicating with magical attuned men and women, most spirits lack the ability to talk to the living. With this spell, however, you can speak to any spirit that you come across. Simply bear in mind that it is mostly assuredly not a spell to be used for mischief. The spell world is full of evil souls that would be that will gleefully punish such wayward wizards. Ooh. Okay, so we have to cast a spell. Um, how do I go? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hey, hey, there we go. And spirit. Thank goodness it worked. Wait, what? Jeepers, creepers, you can talk. Hold on, let's get to this side. Which is, which is, ah, oh, there we go. That way we can see Drippy in the background. Of course I can talk, silly. You cast spirit medium on me, didn't you? So that's what it does. You mean to tell me you cast a spell without knowing what it did? What kind of wizard are you? For future reference, spirit medium lets you speak to the spooky spirits of the dead, like me. Well, I was right, uh, so I was right. You're a flipping ghost, ain't it? A uh, go ghost? Jeepers. You mean to tell me that ghosts really exist? Of course they do. Wizards see them all the time. I was a wizard too once, you know? <clears throat> but thanks to that idiot dark djinn, there aren't too many wizards left. So when they, I saw you, I thought I'd better hand you the page over. Hand the page over. You're the first wizard I've seen in I don't know how long. Jeepers, can I really keep it? Of course. It's the last least I can do to say thank you for looking after my book. Oh, it's his book. Your book. Nah, you got your wires crossed, son. Nah, you got your wires crossed, sunshine. Uh, that's our book, that is. Uh, who are you, anyway? Me? I'm Horace. Although you probably know me better as the Sage of Ages. Hang on a sec. You want me to believe that this little... <laughs> little guy like you is the Sage of Flippin' Ages? <clears throat> Who are you calling a little guy? Pip Squeak? Wow, these these insults. <coughs> I'm a fairy, ain't it? I'm supposed to be the size. Cheeky little. <laughs> Here, uh, you're called Ollie, aren't you? And oh, I missed the second part. Uh huh, yeah? Hmm. Maybe I'll go on a little journey myself. I haven't taken a look around the world in a long time. Right. I'm heading to the South Desert. Hopefully we'll meet again in a town down there. See you soon. Okay, that was awkward. He's like, bye! And then just, just stood there. Didn't actually... The desert is off to the south. I'm going to head down there now. Or down there next. Okay, can we... Can I go in the water at all around here? 
I cannot. Okay, so. Anything over here? Nope. Can I get in the water here? Nope. Alright. How about over here? Nothing. I love that! I love that the animation changed when he started going up and down the stairs. It's just like a Ghibli animation. Hello, guard. The grave of the sage is down this way. You're welcome to go and have a look, but please be respectful. You got it. Oh, what's, what's that? What's that? <sighs> I found a chest. Yay. You obtained a loaf of white bread. Okay. Where are we off to? Oh, definitely not there. Okay. Uh, do you think the red herring would have gone into one of these fountains? Maybe not. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Somebody... Yes? I hear somebody, like, knocking. Can, can I scooch around you, fair sir? Okay, I don't want to talk to you yet. Let's go to, um, there. Okay, we have to go up here. Oh, wait, wait, over here, over here. Here, here, here. Yay, okay. Look, golly boy! See that red thing over there? Over by there? Uh... I reckon I found our fishy friend. You better... You better go and take a closer look, though. Just to make sure, ain't it? Me? Why do I have to go over there? Well, who else is going to do it? Freddy the fish inspector? Come on, just hop on them rickety-looking bits of wood. You'll be fine. Uh, oh, gee. All right, I guess. I guess I'll try. All right. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Uh. Thank goodness this isn't like real lobbies. <laughs> Hold on. Can I get over there? Yeah, that's that's the red herring. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Nickers, that uh, he got away. S sorry, he's a lively one, all right. Think I think he went off towards the palace, Ollie boy. After him. Wait, you want me to jump in? Hold on, can I? Okay, even if I wanted to, I couldn't. Wait, can I go over there? No, I cannot. I can't go that way either. So. There we go. Okay, I don't actually have to, like, aim or anything. It's fine. Oh, there is no jump, though. <laughs> That's who was saying it. I think I might purchase some nice new clothes. <laughs> I think we're going to be going back and forth, back and forth. There we go. I may have... Hold on. Yeah, 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 we're good. <laughs> I probably was supposed to follow the storyline and then come up here to get the, the spell later. Oh no! I got him! I got him! So, this is the king's favorite fish, huh? Tidy! That's a red herring, if I ever saw one. Now we can get ourselves to an audience with the king. Let's head back and see the palace guards, shall we? Shouldn't we get, like, a bag of water or something to put them in? Okay, fine. You're a fairy. I guess you can make him breathe out of, outside of water or something. Hurry! I'm kind of... Okay, that guy just turned around. 
Hey, hey, look what I got, look what I got. Yugen, I'm afraid I still haven't located the Tom's pet. This one you mean? We came to deliver the king's fish back to him, sir. Is that goodness? I'd know a regal scarlet tones of the king's beloved red herring anywhere. Well, I'll be. I reckon it must have swum all the way through the sewers into the town like. Is that so? Uh, wait, who was that I was just talking? I think I did the wrong dialogue. <laughs> I must have let the other gods know right away. <clears throat> ah, if I remember rightly, you were... That's right, we need to see the king. Yes, of course, but with him in... But with him in his certain state... What's that? Something's up, is there? You could say that. Did I mention that the person charged uh, with caring for the king's fish, red herring, just let it escape? Everyone in the palace has grown terribly lax of late. So lax that they need to enlist the help of passing travelers, as you know only too well. I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but the king himself has been indolence... Personified has been indolence personified. Indolence personified. I have no clue what that means, but hopefully somebody in the comments does. And it seems to be rubbing off on his subjects. Indolence? Is that like blaziness? I'm afraid so. Hey, look there. It, it, it explained it to us. Well, perhaps uh, being reunited with his beloved red herring will give him the boost that he needs. In you go. Tidy! We're off to see the king. Come on, early boy. <laughs> A pleasure to meet you, you and me, Algisty. So it was you who delivered one's treasure back to one, hmm? That's right. I yes, you and me, Algisty. Hmm. And you wish for a prize, hmm? Um... Go on, man. Ask him. Uh... Come now, don't be shy. Well, your meow just the, uh... Out with it now! We need your wand! <sighs> One's wand. Mm -hmm. <sighs> huh? What did you say? <sighs> huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> uh... <sighs> that smell. Could it be? That's right, you of your Justy. He's not from our world. He's the one whose power freed me from my prison. What? You mean he broke his spell? This little boy? Yes. Do you understand what you're saying, Fairy? Once see. you defy him, there's no turning back. I know, I know, I know, but... But what precisely? Well, you know, he might be able to... Mm. Mm. Ah. It's not one's concern. Ah. You may not have the wand. Now be gone. Does that mean no wand, Mr. Droopy? Looks like it. <laughs> I have a feeling that he his heart is broken. So how do we get the wand now? Something wasn't quite right about our royal friend. Broken-hearted he is, <coughs> I'm broken-headed. I, I was right. The king is? Lacking enthusiasm, it looked like. And because he's broken-hearted, the whole kingdom's being dragged down with him. What are we waiting for? Let's go find the piece of heart he's missing. Blimey, you don't need much encouragement, do you? <laughs> The guard outside of town was short on enthusiasm too, huh? Indeed he was, Ali boy. Like I said, I reckon the king's brokenheartedness is dragging everyone else down with him. But the other guard gave us some of his enthusiasm to help his friend. We should ask him for some more. No, 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 man. Don't uh, go doing that. There's a very important rule about borrowing a piece of people's heart. There is? What is it? Well, you can't go taking the same piece of heart from the same person twice, see? One little scoop off the top is safe to borrow. Gee, I didn't know that. I'll be sure to be real careful from now on. So what do we do, Mr. Drippy? We travel the town for somebody else 
uh, with the get up and go uh, aptly, <clears throat> ain't it? Wait, a plenty, a plenty. Oh, so he has plenty. Okay, it's a sleepy old place, but there's bound to be someone somewhere. The only problem is where Ding Dong Dell's not exactly village sized after all. You might even say it's a proper massive. I guess it kinda is, huh? The s the telling stone. In something of a quandary, are we? <gasps> Hello. <laughs> uh oh. Slow down. Hi, Miss. Hi, Mr. Telling Stone. <laughs> You seem perplexed, young, my young friend. I thought you might benefit from a dose of an expensive knowledge. Oh, thanks. That's real nice of you. You see, we don't. Uh, we need to borrow a piece of somebody's heart, but we don't know how to find one. Hmm. Elementary, my dear Oliver. It seems like uh, it. In times like these, just look to your locket. Um. How do you mean? Well, not only can it carry a piece of heart, the locket is also extremely sensitive to their proximity. It will glow when they're nearby. Tidy! So we can use it to track down some enthusiasm, then, ain't it? Allow me to tell you a little more about that locket of yours. You will see that it has a habit of glowing brightly from time to time. This is how it reacts to the presence of those who possess one's heart's vi vi bleh, one of the heart's virtues in abundance. Incidentally, those with a piece of heart to spare will also glow verdant green on the minimap at the top right of your screen. Neato! It will not serve to tell you which of the vi virtues the subject has in excess, but it should prove exceedingly useful to you, nonetheless. I just know it will. Now, sally forth and seek ye your peace of heart, young adventurer. Thank you so much, Mr. Tellingstone, sir. And if you ever find yourself in need of knowledge again, you may consider me wholly at your service. Farewell for now, friends. I like the story stone. Right-o, Ollie boy. Let's have a look around for someone with a drop of enthusiasm to spare. Then, shall we? If your lockets glows up all of a sudden, we know that we're on the right track. Got it. Let's go, Mr. Drippy. My gosh. <laughs> okay, so, uh, I can't do that, but the mini-map will show, right? It looks like we have um, a star to go follow. So, <clears throat> excuse me one second while I take a little sip of coffee. <laughs> okay, where is this leading to me? Okay, it's leading to a, a star of some kind over there, so... I imagine that's where we need to go. Under the bridge. And through the woods. To grandmother's house we go. What is this place? We'll look later. Oh wait, 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 wait. This person's glowing. Why are you glowing? Hello. Ugh, oh, that's loud. Moy, it's still not quite pretty enough. Doing a bit of decoration decorating, is it? <clears throat> well, I always say you can't beat a flower or two brightening up things. No ends, they do. How clever of you. I was just thinking about some flowers. I'm trying to make my doorway prettier, you see. You are? What kind of flowers are you thinking of using? Oh, wait, that was Oliver. Well, now, I was want something nice and bright, and I'll need some fresh, clean water to give them to. My, I know you can help me. Can you spare some time, pretty please? Yes. You accepted the following task. A splash of color. Check your journal for the details. Oh, thank you. You're a perfect gentleman. Now I'll need you to bring two plainswort flowers and two bottles of spring water, all right? Yes, ma'am. Oh, but where can I find them? 
Mm, yes. Neither can be purchased from the shops. You'll have to go around and look for them among the rolling hills. Don't worry, they're positively twinkle. They're positively t positively twinkle. I dare say that you've seen twinkling spots on the ground outside of town, haven't you? Well, be sure to investigate them when you stumble upon one. You'll find all manners of precious things. My, what more thing? Once you forge toward the particular spot, it won't twinkle as it did before. But never fear, both its produce and its twinkle will return in time. Got it. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, we're heading out of town and we'll keep an eye on your eyes peeled for some of these uh, twinkles. Tidy! Let's go a forging then, shall we? Thank you very much. You're a pair of perfect little gentlemen. Okay. I hate to tell her this, but we're not heading out of town yet. <laughs> In fact, I think this entire episode is going to be inside. Oh, here we go. <gasps> Glow! Look, Mr. Drippy, the locket. It's glowing. Oh, uh, click. Tidy! Then there's somebody around here with a piece of heart to spare, ain't it? Whoa. <laughs> He's ready for battle. And the only person around here is him. And look at him, man. He can barely stand still. He's so eager. Jackpot! You mean, I think he has some enthusiasm to spare? That I do, my lad. I bet that I bet my lantern on it. That's something I wouldn't bet, dude. It's like attached to your nose. Let's go on in. Uh, go. Let's go and get it, shall we? Mm. <laughs> Hi, buddy. How do, saucepan head? <laughs> I don't suppose fancy doing us a favor, do you? Hey, stop distracting me. I'm busy. Busy, huh? What are you busy doing exactly? Protecting the town from mice, of course. Mice? Oh yeah, I remember hearing about the mice who lived in Ding Dong Dell. Those mice are a menace. They're always running around. Oh wait, this is the little boy. Those mice are a menace. They're always running around, getting up to no good. But the grown-ups are too lazy to do anything about it. Most of them hardly notice when the mice steal things. And the ones that don't, don't seem to care. Well, Tommy Stout is not going to stand for it. I know the mice all live down in the well, so I'm standing guard here. Any mice comes this way, they're in for a battering. Well, well, we're at the right... <laughs> we were right about this one. He's bursting with enthusiasm. Over to you, Wally boy. Tom's... Tommy Stout. What, what are you talking about? Well, King Tom seems to be in a really short on enthusiasm right now. And that's where you come in, Tommy boy. You've got a loads of the stuff. If we gave some to the king, Tom, the whole town would sort itself out quickly, quick, sharp. Yeah, so we were wondering, could you share some of your enthusiasm with us? Of course. I'd do anything to help the king. Thanks, Tommy. All right, so we need to cast Take Heart. Here we go. The distilled spirit of getting giddy up and go. You obtain some enthusiasm. That is awesome. Wow, that's strange. Well, now I know what magic feels like. Strange? What do you mean? Non-wizarding types... Oh. Non-wizarding types ain't used to spells, see, Ollie boy. They don't know what it... Uh, what to make of them half the time. So, does it mean King Tom's going to be alright now, Oliver? Yes, and once King's back to normal, everyone else should start feeling better too. That's right, man. Your enthusiasm is going to put the spirit in everyone's step again, ain't it? That's great to hear. Until then, though, I'd better stay here and keep an eye out for mice. Alright, uh, see you later, Tommy. Okay, Tommy's pretty cool. Can can I go around here to the sewer? <gasps> I bet I can, but we're not doing that yet. We're going to stick to our story. Stick to the story, no side quest. We're going to see the king. 
He's going to take some enthusiasm given by Tommy. <clears throat> Got a loaf of bread. Fish, fish head buildings all over the place. All the stars on the mini map. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you, but I really enjoy this series, so... <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> okay, okay, keep going, keep going. Don't stop me this town time, cat guard. Don't stop me. <laughs> Straight through. Restore the key. Now do I just cast the spell, or do I just walk straight up to him? Hmm? My, you again. <clears throat> One is becoming rather tired of seeing constant interruptions. Sorry, your meow justy. It's just, we have something for you. Yeah? <clears throat> we picked it out especially for you, cat face. <laughs> oh, do not- Drippy? Dude, you are going to get us kicked out of this place. I'll get rid of the tiredness in your, in, of yours in no time. Give us a new lease of life, it will. Strong teeth, glossy fur. I, I'm not sure that's... My, it sounds just the ticket. This acc accursed fatigue will be the death of one. Dealing with all these visitors takes its toll. Not to worry, your majesty. A little bit of enthusiasm is all you need, ain't it? Uh, give... Take heart. No, uh, give heart. Give heart. <laughs> <laughs> Select it. And go. <laughs> Don't go to the guard. Don't go to the guard. Okay. So, do you think it works? Let's see, shall we? Hmm. What the devil was one up to? Your meow, Justy, please tell us you're back to your old self. Yeah? Why, one is ten times more energetic than one has ever been. But one feels different somehow. This is your doing, is it not? Then you must be rewarded. Your meow, Justy, it seems that these brave adventurers have lifted the curse that was placed upon you. Uh, what? Is this true? Yes, your meow, Justy. It appears that you were cursed with a lack of enthusiasm. Hmm, is that so? One certainly didn't feel oneself for a while there. It seems one is in your debt. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> what would you claim as your prize? Prize, hmm? Tidy. You know what I, I, you'd ask for it, Ollie boy? Oh, uh, sure, um... We need a magic wand, your majesty. My, is that so? Strangely, one feels as if one has had this conversation before. <clears throat> no. One thinks of it. There is a wand, one per... per <laughs> prized very highly, and the kitten... As a kitten, hidden away safely in one's bedchamber. There is, eh? And... And one would be willing to part with it, but one will have to find it first. Return later on, and one shall present it to you. Jeepers, thank you so much, your majesty. So, boy, if you're in search of a wand, can one take it that you are perhaps a wizard? Indeed he is, your majesty. meow -jesty. A shiny new apprentice wizard, who doesn't exactly know much about magic, yet... Uh, <clears throat> Hmm, is that so? Then one... <laughs> then let one provide you with a spell or two. One's one will be of little use without spells to cast, after all. Really, your meow, Justy? That's so kind of you. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much. You received a page describing the spirit lock spell. Sweet. You received a page with the rejuvenate spell. <laughs> meow. <laughs> You must enjoy the spells that inspired one so much as a younger's days. Wait, what? 
One that unlocks thing. <laughs> one that unlocks things and one that restores things to their former glory, eh? What did you used to get up to with these, your majesty? Hmm? None of your business, fairy. Now, boy, you'll travel with a familiar, do you not? One has sent word to the cat... Uh, bleh. Cow's... Mister's... Story... Cow... Mis... Cow... Her... Mis... Cow... Mi whatever. The store down the way into the town, you are to be given permission to shop there. The cow master's store? What kind of place is that, your majesty? Mm, you'll see you'll sure that you you are an adventurer. One cannot help but fear the safety of our such of such an innocent No matter. The cow master's place there. Wow, I am not on par today. The cow master's store provides weapons and equipment for one's familiar for use of familiars. Why not go and borrow the products on offer while one seeks out one's one, hmm? Wow. We sure will, your majesty. Thank you very much. Now, one has plenty to attend to. Come and present yourself one uh, to one again in a short while. Okay, well. I guess we can go off and do the side quest and stuff. But... Uh, that's our time for now. That was 36 minutes of awesomeness and animation. <laughs> uh, let's see. Wait, that's not the right one. Uh, I do this one, then I click save. We'll save a new slot right there. I think that worked. Did that work? Hold on. Let's check. Yeah, that worked. Right there. Player, code primate. Head to the Cowmaster store and look for armors and weapons. So, uh, let's hit circle and cancel it out. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Nino Kuni with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, as I mess up the dialogues and have fun. You know, nobody's perfect, but I think that this game is amazing. So, I hope you're enjoying it. Love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos, and we'll talk to you real soon. <sighs> Outro.